Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back to Prison Architect Going Green. I certainly hope you're having a good one because I'm excited to be back. I am very excited to be back. You might notice there's been a couple of changes since the first episode. Nothing too major. I just did a little bit of planning to figure out sort of what we were going to do next. And I figured we would start out today by walking you through what exactly I'm thinking. Now, first things first, I have gone ahead and said that we're going to put down some tiles and some grass in the yard, and that we're also going to put some tiles out here in the uh, the entranceway as well, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Now, this area up here, I'm sure you can tell, is just going to be a bunch of cells at some point. This right here is eventually going to be a shower, and then I'm thinking that uh, this right here might get converted into something else. I don't really know what that's going to be. Now, we are going to keep this layout down here because I like that, you know, we have this canteen, we have the kitchen, that's all well and good. But this space over here is where I'm thinking we're going to do some fields. So, essentially, we're going to have room for four different fields. You can sort of see I've got some planning in there for uh, some paths. And then down here will be three different classrooms. This is where I was thinking we could maybe try and do visitation if we maybe allowed people to come in sort of down here, perhaps. But I don't really know what we're going to do with that. We just have that room as something that we're going to have to figure out at some point. I just, I don't really know what it's going to be. I've got to be honest, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure what it's going to be. But for the time being, we're going to kind of focus on getting ourselves prison maintenance here. And we're going to try and get our prisoner capacity up to 15. Now, I reckon we can probably go ahead and we can probably do a bit of foundation here, a bit of foundation there, and a bit of foundation there, and not completely break the bank. So we're going to try and not have to deal with the fact that we have these holding cells for too long. That's, that's kind of my hope here, is that we can get this all built... And we can uh, get people out of the holding cells sooner than later. And get ourselves a little bit of money that way. Because I really do want to go ahead and get these classrooms going. Just because that, that seems like it would be a pretty good idea. Uh, we also need to get ourselves deployment. Maybe not deployment. A prison policy is... That's punishments and whatnot. Nutritional policies. We're looking specifically for... Yeah, deployment, I think, is what we're looking for. Logistics is not what we're looking for. So, yeah, we actually need to get ourselves uh, deployment. So, let's go ahead and start looking into that. We don't actually have a chief, so we'll get ourselves one. And you can go in there. And that'll be pretty good for us. Uh, now, farmers are something that I'm really... I'm really wanting, I gotta be honest, I'm really wanting to uh, go straight for the farming thing as soon as possible, but we'll figure it out. Um, we have too many prisoners in our holding cells. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, we're actually gonna need to do a couple of things here. We need to get ourselves a couple more guards. So let's go up to six, and let's get ourselves a janitor. And let's just see how things end up going here. Because all of the doors are now going to be closed. So now the guards have got to, uh, you know, deal with the prisoners and all that stuff. They've got to bring them into the holding cells. Of which, apparently, there's too many prisoners in the holding cells. And uh, we're hopefully going to keep the prisoners relatively happy. Now, this guy apparently has nowhere to go. Which is kind of interesting that he's got nowhere to go. Is that because, what are you, what are you waiting on here? You require solitary confinement. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do for you. We're going to end your punishment, and you're just going to go into the holding cell. And I don't know, uh, policy intake prisoners, I don't think we can change what the punishments are right now. So we're not going to worry too much about that. We're just going to try and get this all built as soon as possible. And I guess what we can also go ahead and do is uh, go into objects, or sorry, into doors, and get ourselves a nice regular large jail door for right there because that's going to be the way into this new space and i suppose we should probably do the same there for the uh, new showers and then we'll go ahead and just uh, eventually move everybody into their new cells and hope that they're going to be relatively happy with that 
Now, let's see. We need apparently two janitors and a gardener. So let's get ourselves another janitor just to get that out of the way. And uh, we should be able to get ourselves a gardener as well, which gets us a grant complete. This is also all built, which is lovely news. So, oh, that got rid of that wall. That's not really what we wanted. But uh, let's go ahead and just put all of the walls in here and get this uh, up and going a little bit. So bring this around. Uh, that's really not quite what I was going for there. Gonna kind of need to demolish those bits. And then uh, along here, do a nice wall. A little bit expensive, but nothing to uh, worry too much about. Just go ahead and place all of the uh, the cells in there. Or sorry, all the walls in there for the cells. And uh, the same in the bottom. And we'll go ahead and just build one. And then rotate it when we uh, need to place them on the other side. So, in terms of doors. I think all of these are probably going to be dorms. I got to be honest. I think that's going to be for the best. So, in terms of rooms, I think we do dormitory. And I think we do bunk bed. And I feel like the bunk bed can go there. I feel like the toilet can go there. And I do kind of want to give them windows. I really do. But I just, I don't, I don't know that that's going to be a hugely, you know, beneficial idea right now. We could do it on these cells up here. We can't really do it on this one. Also, I've been forgetting to put lights. Well, I haven't been forgetting to put lights as such. I've just, I just remembered that I need to put lights in. Um, that'll do, I think. I would like to say that they could maybe have radios just to improve the the grade of the dorm a little bit. Would a chair do that? It actually would. Let's give them a chair. So if they want to sit and have a conversation, one of them's going to sit on the crapper and the other one's going to sit on the uh, sit on the actual chair. And that's kind of fine by me. And while they're building that, let's also go ahead and do... Uh, let's just do this. Let's... Let's let's put a light outside of there. And what we can do is actually copy and paste the light outside. So each one of the uh, the dormitories is actually going to have a uh, is actually going to have a light outside of the door as well as inside of the door and that seems like a pretty good idea. Uh, so that's all set up nicely. Let's go ahead then and go to quick build. Let's go to clone and let's grab just essentially all of this. And uh, essentially we're just going to rotate it. And we're going to go like this the uh, entire way along here. Now, we can't actually afford to go too crazy with this. Just looking at it. But we can do that. And that seems like a pretty good start. So, we'll go ahead and prioritize getting all of that built. That's going to let us move some prisoners out of the... Uh, out of the holding cell and into some actual cells. Which will be fantastic news. And, uh, yeah, that'll hopefully, you know make them a little bit happier. We can fill up the prison to whatever the maximum is going to end up being. And like I said, that should keep them happy. Uh, now, in terms of cash flow, uh, I can't help but notice that we're not doing so great. But I think, at least I hope sincerely, that we are going to be able to maybe do some good here. So that's now technically a dormitory. I'm hoping we get the rest of these built, and I'm hoping we can bring some more prisoners in tomorrow. Because if I go to intake to fill uh, to capacity, we can fill up to six. But once these are done, we can fill a little bit further. So we should, therefore, have some new prisoners coming in tomorrow. Therefore, it's not going to be the capacity that we're looking for, but it's going to be something at the very least. And, you know, we have a couple of days until eco-friendly is situated there. And also, I think we can take another grant. Just looking at the number that we have. Yeah, we can take another one. So, I mean, I guess we go visitation rights. I mean, I guess maybe... Actually, you know what? This one's a relatively easy one because we have just unlocked deployment already. We do need to get patrols, but that should be easy enough. So, it's a thousand for that. Prison policy is probably not a bad idea either. We're working towards tax relief and then we can get recycling income. So, that's pretty good. Uh, we need to get ourselves more guards, which we'll do eventually. In fact, uh, let me see. So, patrols we haven't got yet. And then we need... Okay. Well, we can we can deal with that. Uh, let's go ahead then and say staff. So, that's going to be a staff canteen. That's a staff room. These are going to be staff rooms as well. That's all going to be staff only. That's staff only. Uh, that has no access right now. That's fine. And that's... Uh, 
that's fine for me. So that gives us a pretty good little little setup there for the staff canteen down at the bottom. Which will hopefully be lovely. Uh, did someone just by chance... Oh, dear. I think someone might have overdosed in one of the cells there, which is very bad news. Because we don't have anything medical right now. Yeah, so... Oh, boy. We also don't have a morgue right now. Okay, we we might have um we might have we might have some things that we want to um fix a little bit. Just thinking about it. We we might we might want to Yeah, there it goes. Um Yeah, that's that's not a great start. I got to be honest. That's it's not not exactly ideal. But uh, we'll we'll manage. Um let's see. So, do lights not get copied and pasted? It looks like they actually don't. So, uh, what we're going to have to do is, I, I do want to do this, I do want to place lights, and I could just place them in the door. That might honestly be a better idea, but I'm going to do it this way because I've committed at this point, so we're basically going to place lights uh, along each of these. And uh, it's going to be a very, very bright space, which I'm fine with. So yeah, we'll just do it this way whole bunch of lights. Probably a little bit too much money being spent on lights here, but whatever. Uh, so we'll do that. We can go ahead and we can go to walls and we can say demolish. And I'm basically going to say that we're going to demolish each of, the, each of these uh, sections of walls to make sure nobody gets stuck in these rooms. So we'll get rid of all of those. We'll get rid of all of these. And we'll prioritize all of that just to make sure it gets done a bit quicker. In terms of power, it's not actually getting up to the end of that hallway, which is a little bit annoying. So we'll go ahead and prioritize that as well. And then in terms of water, I mean, those toilets aren't going to be working right now, but they will eventually. Uh, if anything, it probably just makes sense to uh, extend this, uh, this large pipe here just around like this. And then essentially what we do is we're just going to connect it like this the whole way along which uh, will hopefully work out nicely for us. So uh, basically, I can go ahead and crop distribution provides control over where prison growth ingredients are moved. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. Um, we can essentially do this the, uh, the entire way along and get all the pipes installed ahead of time so we don't have to worry about it later. Again, kind of expensive to, you know, do it all ahead of time, but it's going to have to be done eventually anyway. So prioritize pretty much all of that including exports, apparently. And we'll get it all sorted. We'll get power in there. And hopefully everything will be, uh, everything will be good. Should also have more prisoners coming in. We have five more arriving. That's one, you know, uh, one more than I'd, I'd expected for the new cells. But, uh, you know, things happen, I guess. What happens in Prison Architect stays in Prison Architect, I guess. We must reduce the number of prisoners in our holding cells. We don't have any prisoners in our holding cells. We also don't have, um, hmm. We don't have much food being served, I don't think. Actually, you know what? We fed 85% of them. That's not bad. I'll take it. Oh, maybe not. 28%. Eh, yeah, we might We might want to do better with that. We might want to look into doing better with the, uh, the, old, uh, the old food there. Uh, but I'll tell you what. Let's bring ourselves up to 10 guards so that we can get these doors all opened a little bit better. And uh, we need to assign three guards to patrol routes. So let's go ahead and do that. So blue patrol is going to go like this. And then magenta patrol is going to go like this because I'm weird like that. Um, in fact, you know what? We'll bring them right around like this. And we'll bring blue right around like this. We'll assign a guard to each. And uh, that's essentially going to be all day, every day, just for the time being. Uh, guards are going to be going up and down that patrol line. Um, What we can also probably do is have blue just poke its head into the showers from time to time. Just to make sure that uh, everything's going to be fine there. And then we'll have a patrol that goes... Hmm. We'll have a patrol that just sort of goes like this, kind of up and down a little bit. And that'll be our three guards assigned to uh, patrol routes, which is fantastic news. Now, let's actually see 
about getting some patrol routes set up properly. So from 11 until... So 7 is shower time. So like this is when they're all going to be asleep. So while they're asleep, I kind of want to make sure we have guards assigned in there nicely. Uh, so while they're asleep, let's have a look here. Um, let me let me let me pause. Let me unassign guards from all of these routes. So while people are uh, asleep, we're going to have two guards there and two guards there. And we're going to have four guards going up and down the cell block. That seems like a pretty good idea. Um, then one just sort of going up and down here. Seems like a pretty good idea as well. Uh, at seven is when they go to the showers. So what we can do is just simply deploy, I guess, uh, a couple of guards into the showers. And uh, they don't shower at night. I've just realized. So, hmm. Let's do shower time there. So at 10 p.m., they are also going to... Can I move this? Yeah. So at 10 p.m., they're also going to the showers, which is fine. So that's going to be set up... Wait a minute. I didn't do that right at all. Um, take the guards out of there. So at this time, they're in there. And that's fine by me. In terms of patrols, what we can do is assign guards, you know, so, you know, one last guard on each patrol. That seems like a pretty good idea. And then at 8, they go for food. And at 7, they go for food as well. So that's when we're going to say that we're just simply going to deploy one, two, three, let's say four into the canteen while they're eating. And uh, we'll say one just outside as well, just to be nice and safe. Uh, so then at 10 until 2, and, and actually, essentially, entirely the entire way up through the day, we want to set this all to 4, because no one's going to be working right now anyway. So right up to there. And then at 7, it's that. What is 9? Nine? 9 is yard time. So yard time is going to be its own color. And at 9 o'clock, let me make sure I've done this right. So that's food. That is free time. So free time, I'm just going to say a couple of guards in there. And uh, patrols are going to be one, two, three, four. Uh, and I guess we could probably do one kind of there as well. So that's going to give us, that's going to have a lot of guards assigned to different things. In fact, maybe just one guard in there as well. And one last there will be a pretty good idea. Uh, and then for yard time, we'll just say three guards in there and that'll hopefully keep us in a pretty good way so that's going to be good for deployment and we can also go and take a look and get another grant so cell block a is in progress that grant we just completed is going to make it a little bit easier to get it done visitation rights we'll deal with dog handlers and armed guards seems a little bit uh, early for that the education thing doesn't seem like a good idea Build a staff room, five guards without assigned duties, ensure none of my staff are exhausted. Uh, sure. We'll take that, because I don't know. Uh, ensure none of my staff are exhausted. Okay. So how do I make sure they're not exhausted? So you're resting right now. You're on break right now. I should probably get a couple more guards just to make sure that uh, there are some without duties. So there we go. So... Is there... I, I feel like I remember. Is there a ratio for staff going on break? I feel like there is. I feel like I remember this being a thing where staff can... Uh, you know, a certain ratio of staff can go on break at any one time. I might be wrong on that. I might be thinking of a different game, but I could... Ooh. I could swear that was a thing in uh, in Prison Architect. Also, honestly, getting uh, some of these things going as well would probably be fantastic. Uh, so let's have a little look here. Grants is not where it's going to be. Policy, I feel like, is where it would be, but I am not 100% sure. I don't know. I, I feel like I it might be needs. It could be needs. We probably need a psychologist for it, so we'll see. Um, either way, we'll see if we can maybe get none of my staff to be exhausted at some point. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was actually kind of easy. All right. 
Uh, so grants, what else have we got? We've got these investments. I don't care about those. Basic farming. Hire the farm worker staff member. Correctly build a functional vegetable allotment, fruit orchard, and farming thing, and plant five crops of any type in each room. Um, you know what? Sure. Let's give that a shot, and let's see if we can't, uh, can't start doing some good things here. So, we are going to need foundations here. And, uh, ooh, what's up with my voice there? Ah! All right. And, uh... <laughs> We'll do some foundations down here as well. Uh, and I want to do some foundations here, here, and here. Because I want that all to link around. These are going to be open spaces, is what they're going to be. Uh, so, essentially, if we go to walls and doors, we want to get ourselves some large jail doors there, and there, and there, and down here, and there as well. So that'll give us all the doors that we're going to need. Uh, at least the large ones. We're going to do some small jail doors there and there. And that'll let us start playing around with the idea of putting these farms in. Because what we can also do is brick wall like this. And that'll give us plenty of space for these farms. Which will be absolutely lovely. Uh, now, this is all very nearly done up here in terms of piping and whatnot. So I'm I'm kind of keen to uh, to get all the pipes in and get all of this situated so I can just start copying and pasting things. Uh, because what I can do is essentially go one, two, uh, three, let's say four. Let's just try and do all of these. So something like that will bring the capacity for prisoners up kind of considerably, which is exactly what we need to be doing. Uh, now, in terms of pipes, we also got to do this. And uh, that is all otherwise connected. So let's just prioritize all of that work rather than the uh, foundation work for the time being. That'll bring the prisoner capacity up really, really nicely, which will get me $20,000 when it happens, which I'm very excited about. And I'm also curious, actually, if I could see some of my prisoners here. In fact, reduce the number of prisoners in holding cells. We're not using the bloody holding cells. Settle down, fella. All right. Uh, you. You. So you're only in for a year. So a year is... And what are you in for? You're in for a year. Is everybody just in for a year? Okay. That's actually fine. That, that still gives me plenty of time to train them up in things. So I'm not actually super stressed about that. That, that I think will work pretty well in my favor. So I think we'll be okay. Um, also, I've realized that showers, they're still using this one. So let's go to rooms real quick, and let's go to shower. Let's get this one set up, because I kind of don't want them using that one anymore. So objects, uh, shower heads, let's do there and there. Uh, we'll do across here as well. We'll do along here. And I guess we'll do sort of along here as well, with a couple of, uh, couple of, uh, couple of drains right there. So that'll be the new shower. Which, honestly, we could probably do a couple of pillars in as well. So there and there, for example, with a couple of uh, shower heads just dotted around them a little bit. So we'll prioritize that work as well so we can move them into uh, actually using that shower over this one down here. And that'll be good. Although we are going to, of course, need to bring uh, utilities around this uh, entire space, which is fine by me. I think this was sort of the pattern that we went four, I want to say. So something like that, with uh, that being the way to actually... Oh, that's perfect. Uh, yeah, that'll be the way that uh, the showers are going to be plumbed, I guess. Also, grant complete. There's a prisoner capacity is now 16. Uh, what that says to me is we want cell block B. Bring that prisoner capacity up to 50. I'm not 100% sure if we're going to be able to do that yet, but uh, we might be able to. Definitely a, uh, definitely a distinct possibility. Although I kind of doubt it. Either way, we'll get kind of close, I reckon. So no uh, no worries there. Uh, I do notice that this door has been installed. That seems like a... Uh-oh. Uh that seems like a bit of a security breach. I'm not going to lie. It's amazing that none of them have made a run for it yet. Can we... Can we prioritize moving that garbage, please? No? Okay. <laughs> Good. 
Great. That's just perfect. All right. Just let the prisoners wander around. I'm amazed that they didn't leave. Um, right. Large pipe needed there. I don't know why that got uh, removed. But that'll be that'll be fine, I suppose. We'll get everybody their, uh, their work in toilets. And, uh, I mean, you know what? I guess we have great prisoners. I guess, you know, they're, they're lovely people. Guess what they are. I don't know what they're in for. I mean, we can probably take a look. Uh, let's see. Prisoners, what are you in for? Oh, I can't, I can't use this to click on them to see what they're in for. All right, well, no worries. No, no worries. It's fine. We'll not, we'll not stress too much about it. There's, there's probably nothing to worry about. Um, so, let's see here. Too many prisoners are being held in holding cells. Can I just remove that as a room? I can and did, and no one seems to be complaining about it. There's no prisoners in holding cells anymore, so I don't really know... I don't really know what's up with that. Gotta be honest, but sure. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? So prison capacity needs to go up to 50. I reckon we just... I mean, we got a bit of money, so let's try doing this the whole way across. And, uh, it's, you know, a lot of money to do this, but seems like it'd be worthwhile. So we'll get all that done. We'll get the doors and the beds and the toilets and all in there. Uh, construction back here, not a huge deal. Although I do kind of stand by the fact that we, we really might want to move deliveries and things like that down a little bit. Uh, the good news is, though, two of the batteries are full, and this one is actually charging as well. So we are generating a good amount of power. We're not using that much. We are getting $1,000, I guess, a day in financial compensation for what we're generating as well, which is lovely. So uh, that makes me pretty happy, i got to be honest. That's, uh, that does make me, uh, make me pretty happy. Uh, why are these pipes not being installed? If they wouldn't mind, you know, just actually doing that would be great. Maybe we need more workers. It, you know, we only have eight. Let's bring that up to... Let's just bring it up to ten. Let's not go too crazy with it. We'll bring it up to ten, and that's probably all we're going to need right now. Uh, now, you guys are going into that shower. Uh, why did so many of you just completely f***ing devastate yourselves? What the hell, man? Why did so many of them just walk into the showers and completely, you know, <laughs> that was, that was, that was rough, man. Jesus. I'm actually slightly, uh, I'm slightly taken back by that. I'm not really sure. I'm not, not really sure how to process what I just saw. <laughs> that was, good Lord. All right. Um, we need a pipe down there. I don't know why that's not been installed either. There we go. So these guys now... Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? A, oh, God. One of them did use the open door, didn't they? All right. All right. Let's see how it is. Uh, we really... You know what? We, we got to prioritize this. We really do. We got to prioritize building all of this uh, because people are using this to escape is what they're doing. And I'd really rather they didn't do that. This is why I've got the... Uh, this is why I've got the whole failure conditions thing turned off because if I didn't I would lose very quickly I really what are you what are you complaining about oh you got nowhere to go you need to go to solitary confinement what did you do what did you do uh experience character biography I don't know what this guy did whatever it's you know what fella welcome to the prison you're not going to solitary you're going to your normal cell no big deal everything's why are these broken Okay, you know what? Go in there and see what the hell's going on in that shower. I can't believe that. I can't. I can't. Can't believe they've just broken the old showers. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not pleased about it. I think it's fair to say. I think it's probably obvious that I'm not entirely pleased about it. But whatever. It's it's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, we are coming up on getting, uh, it's just over two days until we get an extra $10,000, which is lovely news. Uh, we have a couple of people awaiting solitary confinement, which I'm not thrilled about. I really don't want to have to build, I mean, I do want to have to build solitary cells, but I don't want to build them right now. 
I'm going to be honest. I really don't want to build them right now. And I also don't know what these complaints about holding cells are. Why are... Oh, for God's sake. Why are they all fighting? Wait, is... No. Oh, he's seriously... You know, he might end up dead. Okay, well, that might be... Um, that might be a bit of a pickle. I'm going to be honest with you. It really might be a bit of a pickle. Because I'm not building a medical wing just yet. I'm going to focus on the farming. This is not going to be... This is this is not the you know <laughs> it's not it's not an efficient prison. It's the prison that I want to build because I want to see how farming works when you start from scratch. I'm genuinely just curious about that. Um, now, are we actually able to feed the prisoners? Because I can't help but notice that it looks like we probably can't. I feel like we need more cooks. Let's get two more because that seems like the least we could do right now. It looks to me like there's no meals that have actually gone... There we go. There is a meal, or a couple of meals that went out there. So I think we definitely needed those extra cooks, which is fair enough, I suppose. Um, This is all looking like it's nearly built. It looks, looks to me like a couple of trees just need to go, and then we're fine. Uh, so let me just go ahead and prioritize exports, because to be honest, it seems like that would be lovely to have although i don't know i'm not exactly sure what we're wait are my guards why are my guards sweeping what huh that's weird that's just a bit weird okay i'm not really sure why the guards were just sort of sweeping about there that's interesting um, got a bit of money from exports bit of money from power exports as well so that's lovely to see thousand dollars a day that is really not bad i gotta be honest that's that's gonna be useful i think because you know if i start getting a little bit low on money i can just throw in another wind turbine and hopefully export more i don't know if that's exactly how it's gonna work but that's that's the way i i could see it working uh i doubt it's gonna be that easy but it would be nice if it was wouldn't it it would certainly be nice if it was that easy uh, let's go ahead and throw some lights into the, uh, into the showers here, just to get that space nice and bright. All of this over here will get built in due time. All of this over here is still to be built, which is annoying. It does all have its entrances. I think we just need to clear some things out, so we'll get that done eventually as well. Uh, although I do really feel like we're not, I feel like we're not feeding enough of the prisoners. I gotta be honest, I, I'm slightly worried about that. Oh my god, what is this? Why does it keep doing this? Uh, demolish walls, get rid of you. Prioritize, please. I just need this bit done, and I just need this bit done, and then we're good. I just want this bit. Oh my god, are they? Are we, are we about to end up with a riot? I feel like we actually do need a medical wing at this point. I'm gonna be honest. Um, so I'll tell you what. Let's start planning it, because we're gonna need to. Uh, so bring this down a bit. In fact, you know what? Let's just build a space like this, right? So, something like this, something like this, and then we'll do, I want to say medical could probably, we'll probably just split it like that. Medical, pantry. In fact, pantry can be this. We're not going to build that too far down. Uh, so, doors, we'll do sort of a double staff door there, regular door there. We'll do a double door there. And that'll be totally fine. So that'll that'll kind of work out for us. We're not, oh, this is done. Fantastic. All right. It's about bloody time is what it is. Uh, let's prioritize all of the flooring and stuff in there then. Just to, uh, to get it done with a bit sooner than later. We'll also lock this open and we'll also lock you open. Just to make life that little bit easier. So this all actually gets done in good time. Now. Uh, foundations for this space down here. How expensive are we talking? We're talking 3060. That's not terrible, so we will totally allow that. In terms of walls, can I put these in ahead of time? No, I cannot. Okay. We'll get that done eventually. That Oh my god, the guards are just... The guards really do need a little bit of medical attention right now. We have a lot of people injured. <laughs> I feel like, uh... I feel like part of that's probably because the prisoners aren't getting fed very well. I do get the feeling that's maybe something to do with it. 
And I also can't help but feel that uh, the reduced... <laughs> this poor guy! Oh my god! Um... Um... Oh, you know what's worse is that red bar is gradually getting lower. So, uh... <laughs> We're kind of on a timer for how quickly we get him uh, a medical wing. I don't know that he's going to make it. i got to be... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, I don't know that he's going to make it. I'm going to... I'll be honest about it. I don't know what his chances are. Oh, boy. That's a little bit grim. That's definitely, uh, definitely a little bit grim. But we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. Uh, good news is the fields are slowly getting there. Uh, we're probably going to want some lights in there. We're probably going to want some lights out here as well. In fact, we're probably going to want to bring uh, some power down here, thinking about it. And uh, to be totally honest, I'm just going to loop it around this entire space while we can. Because it seems like it probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to uh, make sure that this space ends up with a good amount of power. So we'll do this, bring it over that way, and uh, of course they built a wall there. Of course they did. All right, get that out of there. Prioritize that work. That way they can sort of run around that way if they really want to. Which uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not against the idea of them running around that way. So we'll see how that ends up going. I do feel like we should look into getting a security room and uh, door servos and all that good stuff as soon as possible, but. Uh, I'll be honest, it's been such a long time since I played Prison Architect with the goal in mind of not just cutting down trees for money. Uh, I'm a little reluctant to go too crazy on, on building anything. Because I might end up broke. Really, really quickly. And I don't really want to do that. Let's also, you know, speaking of going broke, uh, bring in a couple more workmen. Just so we can hopefully get things built a little bit quicker here. And, uh, yeah, once the sheds are in, we can go ahead and start bringing in some farmers as well, I guess. Although I'm pretty sure I have to buy everything for these fields, which is terrifying, to be totally honest. Um, let's see. So what do I put in here? So things like rose bushes, I guess? That seems nice. I guess we probably export those at some point. Also, a bunch of new prisoners coming in seems nice as well. Uh... Not that many guards going out to get... Oh, for God's sake. Now he's unconscious as well. Can you imagine being brought into... Uh, hopefully you can't... Uh, you know, can you imagine being brought into a prison and the first thing you see being taken to your cell is a guy in a corner bleeding to death? 